In this video, we will discuss how I trolled one of the most infamous Nintendo fanboys, aka Harmon Smith. You've probably heard of him if you have been rum rummaging through the internet. He is, eh, short backstory, he is, like I said, one of the most infamous Nintendo fanboys. Basically, he gained more popularity um, last year for yelling about Elden Ring or something. Even though he was slightly popular throughout before that and to this day. And to this year, or technically last year, Happy New Year's by the way, he was infamous for touting that the BG3 numbers were fake and just yelling about BG3 and Starfield all day. Now, we are here in 2024, and I trolled him, and here's how. So, a couple days ago, me and one of my YouTuber friends, Jakey, um, his channel will be linked in the description where you can watch the stream. Speaking of the stream, basically we reacted to one of Harmon Smith's um, top 10 video games of all time lists, and we were having fun. Albeit, I have to admit, we probably should have prepared more, I guess. We probably should have looked into the games that he listed, but besides that, I felt like we did pretty good. One of the biggest critiques I have of the stream is that it was an hour-long video of him basically a top 10 list of just nothing. Basically, all he would say about almost every game was, it's good, and... It was good because the characters are good and was genre-defining, right? It's genre-defining, and the detective stories are better than L.A. Noir. And that's it. He wouldn't give very much reason. And honestly, I wouldn't mind this if the video was like, what, 15 minutes long? But it was an hour-long video, so basically it was, ten, it was 10 games felt with filler content. And we had a blast just watching and just making fun of it. Because, honestly, it wasn't a great top 10 list. Not because we don't disagree, even though I kind of do disagree with his options. It's not that his opinions are objectively wrong or anything. It was mainly because, you know, the video was just not well put together. And, of course, it's always fun making fun of this loser because he does literally the same thing. He makes fun of stuff he hasn't played or seen before and just, you know, claims it's bad even though he's never played or seen it. But that's not what we're gonna talk about. In fact, like, okay, I thought this would just be a fun thing, right? But then I found, I found out today that we actually struck a nerve because he started going ballistic. He actually made a response video, right? And, well, we're not going to be going into that in this video, but we are going to be going into the Discord stuff. So if you didn't know, I'm in his Discord server, and I might not be for further time, so he might find this video. Um, but I basically captured his meltdown. Now, I don't want to necessarily talk about his meltdown specifically because, you know, there's a whole video he made. But, I mean, here's a screenshot to show how angry he was. And I have one question, Harmon. If you're watching, which you probably are, I have one question. Out of everything, out of all the other channels, right, that are way bigger than me and Jakey combined, right, they're way bigger, and their content's probably better than mine, and whatever. Out of everyone who's made fun of you over the years, how come we are the ones that finally break you, that get you to snap? This is, you know, this is the angriest I've seen you been, right? This is the angriest I've seen Harmon Smith being, right? I never see Harmon Smith as being angry, but this is like the first time I've really seen him angry at something. I mean, it was hilarious that he finally gets a taste of his own medicine, but still, I've never seen him angry, right? So why? What did we do? Is it because we critiqued your list? Is it because we critiqued the way you review things? Or is it because you think we critique your opinions? Which, whatever, right? Why, why does that matter? But we're specifically talking about this. So basically, there is a person on his server. Oh, 
<laughs> I just got a notification. Harmon Smith said something. I'll show it at the end of the video. I mean, there's this guy says, I mean, you can't just complain that much. You talk about the games you haven't even played. Like, you know, you've talked about BG3, Elden Ring, Alan Wake, amongst others. Um, basically, yeah, and reiterate saying, you literally do the same thing. Basically, like, they're saying, oh, you complain that these guys didn't play these games and complain about you doing it, but yet you do the exact same thing, which is true. That's why I said, it's glad to see him get a taste of his own medicine. Even though I said, at least four of those games I have played. Now, granted, not that much for some of them, but Super Metroid, I did play a whole lot. And I did play Star Fox Zero for two seconds before I realized it was garbage. Right? And then, he responds by saying, no I don't, I, okay, no, I do it a lot better. I do a lot better job explaining why those games I don't like are bad. Even though, I mean, I did a whole stream reacting to his, you know, his Luigi's. And literally, he did the same thing that he did in his top 10 games. Basically giving no, just basically spouting off basic stuff like, it's boring or it's bad. Uh, Form Soft has fallen off. The, it, you know, he didn't really talk about the game. He only talked about the gameplay like once. And it wasn't even that deep, right? Again, another hour long video, or almost hour long video that didn't do a good job or basically didn't reckon being an hour long, right? It just felt like a bloody waste of time. And then he goes, you mean the games you haven't and never will play? Basically, again, stating the obvious. He has never played these games, so how does he do a better job? Right, and so, of course, this is on a server, and his server, so of course his cronies are gonna come in and defend him. This guy, Retro Fusion Gaming, says, Mitch, I think there's a difference between the two. On one hand, you have someone like Cody Lee, who has experience with these genres of games. He, who has, er, the two who have no experience, uh, sorry, <laughs> excuse me. The others have no clue about any of the games, even though I said in the stream that I have played, or at least played the original games of the games he was talking about. Had no idea Ninja Gaiden was on the NES, okay, how is that an own? That's another question. How is me not knowing, me or Jakey not knowing that Ninja Gaiden was on the um, Ness, uh, own or whatever. I don't think that's not too much of a commonly known fact, but whatever, maybe it is. I have no clue and I don't really care. No idea what type of game or, or no, no type of what game Devil May Cry or Bayonetta is, even though we said it was a hack and slash game. It's literally a hack and slash game. It's not that difficult. Not experience any Star Fox style game, even though I said I played Star Fox Zero in the original. Um, if you ha if you've never experienced the genre at all, you have no way of knowing if something may be good or not. Now, if you've experienced games in the genre, now it's not your cup of tea. Or what doesn't look appealing based on past experiences, you don't have the ability to call something out. That's literally what Harmon Smith does all the freaking time. With literally everything. For example, in that said review on the Luigi's, he calls BG3 a Western game, okay? He calls it a Western game, or Western RPG, right? What does that mean? Basically any RPG made in the West. He has not played BG3, but he's played a style of it. So with this logic retro, that means that he shouldn't be able to speak on the matter because he has not played um, BG3. He's just played Western RPGs. So you just destroyed Harmon Smith's law. You just destroyed Harmon Smith without even knowing it. But of course, Harmon Smith, with zero focus, says. 
When you say objectively wrong things like Harmon Smith only likes Bayonetta 1 for being a Nintendo exclusive, why would anyone take you seriously? Which we were joking. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious. Again, self-awareness on this guy just falls, right? For some reason, fanboys have this weird tendency to lose all of self-awareness when they talk. And it was a joke. Everyone knows you're a Nintendo fanboy, right? So that's why I jokingly said, or Jakey jokingly said, that, oh, he only likes Bayonetta because it's exclusive to Nintendo. That's why he likes it over DMC. It was a joke. It's not necessarily true. Don't take it too seriously, my G. He, and then Retro replies, They said so much wrong in that video. Dragon's Quest is like Kingdom Hearts. God of War and Bayonetta released at the same time. Um, no, we never said anything like God of War and Bayonetta released at the same time. But I think Jakey said something like it was the Dragon Quest is like Kingdom Hearts, which was weird. <laughs> um, I would never say, I didn't say that, but he did. And so, yeah. Then he, then Harmon says something that's unrelated. Uh, and then Retro says, also saying your top 10 review was review. What? Wait, hold on. Is this guy illiterate? They just, okay. Also saying your top 10 was reviews. You never said they were reviews. It's a top 10 list that's meant to give you give overviews of the games, not deep dives into the specifics. That's what... <laughs> okay, when your video is an hour long, I would expect you to go into at least a little more detail into the games you're talking about, right? Like, again, I can make a top 10 list in 20 minutes, I think. Though, if you guys want that, let me know. Like... I could make a top 10 list in 20 minutes that gives more detail than Harmon Smith did in an hour, right? So, again, I would expect a little more out of an hour-long review, right? You know, going a little more in detail with these games. And also, uh, the point of a top 10 list is to try to get people that either haven't experienced the game or people that dislike the game to be like, give you their point of view or your point of view on why you think either this game is better than this or why a game deserves to be on your top 10 list. That's the point. And heck, maybe you can even try to sway them into a different opinion. Also, sorry if you hear background noise. But yeah. And then Retro signs it off with, they're, they're just... They, they just tried to get on the bandwagon of attacking um, Harmon Smith's takes and failed miserably. Um, was called out on it, and now the but you do it too crowd chimed in because Harmon takes another W and people can't handle it. Um, is this guy an idiot? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he's a major idiot. Um, you do. <laughs> He said, basically, he's saying the people that say, but you do it too, crowd. Um, how is that, like, not valid? So it's not valid because Harmon Smith called us out, even though he... I'm so confused. This guy's so confusing. That doesn't make sense. Because, well, Harmon Smith does do it too. And also, we said multiple times that we don't play the... We never played these games, so our review, like... In the stream, when we when there was a game we didn't play, we would say, oh, we, we haven't played this game, so our opinions probably don't matter. I don't think we said that exactly, but we said something like that. <coughs> so, yeah. He's in here. Oh, boy. Okay, so I wanted to come back. Like I said in the video, Harmon actually texted something on the server. And basically, it was just saying, oh, it's my opinion, it wasn't supposed to be a big deal. And fair, right? That's fair. And that's what I'm trying to say. We're not critiquing your opinions necessarily, which, yeah, okay, we kind of were, but... It's your opinion, right? Like, who cares? Again, I like games that aren't popular too, right? But who cares, like, if someone makes fun of it, right? It's your opinion. Who cares? <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.